Hello, lovely Taurus, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Taurus, this is going to be your weekly tarot reading from the 12th of February until the 18th. I hope you're all doing well, Taurus. This is going to be a general reading for Taurus. We're going to start with the Moonology, and we're going to see <clears throat> what the advice is for this week. Now, Taurus, you are currently in the sign of Capricorn. You will be transiting into Aquarius on the 16th, this Friday. As Venus enters Aquarius, there will be a conjunction with Pluto at zero degrees. Okay, so let's see what's coming in. A lot of changes are happening, big changes, big shifts. This is going to be the initiation into the next two decades with Pluto initiating at zero degrees. Now, this is going to have to do Taurus with the transit into your 10th house. This is your standing in the world. This is your goals, your relationships, your life's work, the contributions and achievements in your life, and a lot of exciting energy coming into your life now, Taurus. We have new moon in Libra. We have the energy here of a new romantic cycle begins. For some of you, you could be a cusper, Gemini, Taurus, so very Venusian energy. This with Libra is ruled by Venus. So this talks about your house of partnerships here, okay? It feels like things are coming into balance, harmony, okay? This is definitely healing generational karma, generational trauma when it comes to relationships. This is going to be a new cycle that's opening up here for you, Taurus. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent energy with the moon. Something big is building up here, Taurus, okay? So this will be the week, I feel, Taurus here, where you are definitely dealing with a feeling here with Virgo. Could be This could be your work, your career, big shifts here, Taurus. So her eyes are closed on this card here. Do you know the value, Taurus, how valuable you really are here? This is about your well-being. This is about your health, your routines. This is about stability here, Taurus. So this week is, let's get another card out. This week is going to be an advancement for a lot of you about your career, about stability here, okay? So taking actions this week, Taurus. Let's see. Taurus. And definitely the south node is in the sign of Libra here. So this can mean don't let your past hold you back here. Big shift. It's it's a feeling here of not going back now. Not letting the past hold you up, hold you back on a timeline that no longer resonates with your higher self here. So this is about letting go here, surrendering, right? This is about taking the wisdom and knowledge with you forward now into the Dharma. So this is healing a karmic cycle. And now we're moving into the Dharma here. This is definitely a feeling of not letting anything hold you back anymore. A very fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. So today the moon is in Aries. Okay. Now Mars will be entering the sign of Aquarius conjuncting Pluto at zero degrees being initiated to a whole new story, a whole new timeline today. So on a personal level, we have the masculine energy here, which is Mars. As Mars approaches, energy is getting ramped up here, right? With the ram, okay? This is about taking action here. This is about using the energy now and using the energy for taking action. So this week, I feel for you, Taurus, is about your actions will speak louder than their words, okay? Your actions speak for themselves is what I feel, Taurus, here. This is an advancement in your career. It feels like, Taurus, don't step on anyone's toes this week in the process here, okay? So let's see. This week may be a week with Mars and the meetup here. That happens next week with Mars and Venus on the 22nd will be conjuncting, okay? Let's see what's coming in from the angels. What is the advice here for Taurus? It's a huge 
huge ramplification here. The energy here that's coming through. Let's see what the message is for Taurus Collective overall. We have Archangel Gabriel that's coming into this reading here. Now, Archangel Gabriel says you have a very important life purpose, which will be involving your communication and the arts. Please don't allow any insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Today's the day, like I feel for this week, that starting is where the energy now is saying have faith in your dreams. For a lot of you, the arts can be music, painting, sculpting, writing, communicating here, okay? For a lot of you, it feels like there's going to be an energy now where you have the angels backing you up here. You have the Archangel Gabriel helping you when it comes to these areas where you need confidence or you might need a push in this direction here. And then we have Rochelle. For some of you, could be connecting with a Rochelle, okay? It says, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Yes, this is definitely going to be bringing in a lot of energy here of rich, earthy prosperity here. It's about honoring your heart, following your heart. It's about allowing, accepting, and embracing the new beginnings that are here now, Taurus, for you, okay? So let's see what's coming through the tarot. This is for Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's say the North Node, we have South Node here. For some of you, you have South Node definitely in Libra here, okay? The South Node is currently in Libra and the North Node is in Aries. So we have the faded events that are unfolding. This is the Cosmic Lovers. This is the faded events this week. With the Nodes of the Moon conjuncting with the Chiron here, there could be some issues that come up to the surface here. It's about facing our insecurities, facing our shadow side this week, okay? And like I feel, nothing ventured is nothing gained. So there's a feeling here of don't let any opportunities pass you by. This is for Taurus. General message for Taurus this week. This is for Taurus. It's a feeling here of getting ready to embrace your ambitions. This is your next version, okay? This is a vision that you have, your dreams. This is for Taurus. Your overall energies, Page of Swords, Temperance, and the Nine of Swords and Queen of Swords. Lots of air. So the air here is definitely a feeling of, of a swift change, a shift. And patience is right in the middle, Sagittarius energy here. So it says the angels are asking for patience along this path. A feeling of not stressing it, a feeling of don't worry about it, okay? I instantly got a headache. So for some of you, you could be feeling like electrical energy. This Aquarius energy is very electrified, right? It also with the Queen of Swords is about problem solving, technology, taking an unusual approach, okay? This is about Page of Swords. This is the feeling here of do your research, right? It also feels like with the Page of Swords for some of you, like there's a feeling here of looking back at something here, okay? Or taking a look back at something. It's about doing your research, right? Being inquisitive very talkative energy. This could be a message that's coming through here. For some of you, it feels like definitely someone here could also be feeling to us like you're keeping tabs on someone here, okay? The Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck here is a feeling here of, for right now, there could be a feeling where you, you might be feeling like somebody here, Taurus, might not be feeling comfortable around the fact that you're coming through with the truth, right? Queen of Swords is someone who's very analytical, very steadfast, very receptive, but very firm, okay? The Queen of Swords is a feeling of air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. And it feels like there's something here about, about a feeling here of regret, right? Around that Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, and Temperance here, okay? There could be a feeling of you could be having deep anxiety over a situation, a situation that's definitely saying there's definitely a meaningful uh, reason for this. There is a deeper meaning here, 
okay? Somebody here that's at a distance from you. This could be a feeling here of three of wands. For some of you, it's as if your ships are coming in, but it feels like you've turned your back on a situation from the past and the past is resurfacing, six of cups here, okay? There's strong memories when it comes to this connection with the six of cups here and the seven of pentacles, okay? It also feels like there's there's an investment or a feeling of you reassessing something, waiting on something. It feels like definitely, it feels like you're stressed out about it. It's a feeling here of not wanting to go back to a situation, not wanting to repeat a situation here. It feels like you're, you're coming to a point where you're definitely facing a situation that gives you a lot of sleepless nights and anxiety this week. So let's see what happened in the past. Show me the past. Show me the past. The immediate past for Taurus. Yeah, you're not wanting to get stuck in a situation here or feel shackled in a toxic relationship here. The devil energy can be somebody here who is very arrogant, very self-centered, very controlling, right? It's also a toxic situation of feeling limited. King of Swords and King of Cups here. So for some of you here, yeah, there was a form in the past of manipulation here, Taurus. We have the King of Swords, the King of Cups. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn. You could have been dealing with an air sign or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It feels like there was a feeling here of you taking a stand, a feeling here of you being very single. The Magician card tells me here that you definitely took a stand. You definitely made a change here with Mercury here. It was like some kind of negotiation could have happened in the past here, okay? And it was a feeling here of not negotiating. That King of Cups could have been somebody here that was emotionally withdrawing their energy, okay? This could be a King of Swords, somebody here that you learned a very valuable lesson from, Taurus, in the past here, okay? So let's see what could be coming in, Taurus, for the near future. What's coming in this week? Yeah, your focus is going to be, I feel, on your career, Eight of Pentacles. This could be a focus on your career, your craft, the eight plus the one, right, that the page is holding. That tells me that's a nine of pentacles. For some of you, this could be definitely you being independent. You definitely making some changes when it comes to your career, your finances. This is about mastering a skill. This could be about education. Page of Pentacles can be a message that you're receiving here. It's about a feeling here of, yes, you got it. When it comes to the Seven of Cups, okay, and that Page of Cups, water sign, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups. Be very careful here when it comes to matters of the heart here, right? This could be there's an element of fantasy here at play. Don't mistake it for the real thing, Taurus, right? The Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is Pisces and Neptune here. This could be about having choices. This could be a feeling here of an illusion or a feeling of a wishful thinking. This person could be reaching out to you, a message here. But like I'm feeling here, is it the real thing here, Taurus, right? Because it feels like for some of you, you have this page of pentacles coming towards you here. This is about focusing on your craft right now, okay? And it feels like this page of pentacles is a feeling of problem solving something here. This could be somebody here that's holding you back seven of cups here, right? Somebody here that, that that's offering you something and it's coming in fast with the knight of swords here, okay? This could be communication that's rushed in here. Now, let's see Taurus. What could be the challenge this week for Taurus? The sun. So we have positive energy that could be the challenge, okay? There's a situation. Yep, for some of you, there is definitely, could be a Leo energy, could be an air sign. There's a feeling here, whatever challenge is, is there's a feeling of getting opened up to gain a higher perspective, okay? Seeing something here that you didn't see before. The sun brings illumination here of how to break out of a cycle where you felt trapped or tied down here. Okay, it's about releasing yourself from a mental prison of feeling self-imposed here. Let me have one more for the challenge. 
one more, and the seven of wands, okay? So the seven of wands is definitely a feeling here of giving up or feeling overwhelmed, okay? For some of you, you could be feeling like you're giving up. You're feeling like there's definitely cutting your losses, right? There is a disappointment here with five of cups. There's a feeling of regret that's here, okay? For some of you, and it feels like you're about to cut your losses in a situation. Justice is here. So this week can be the make it or break it when it comes to relationships. It feels like this is the temperance, which is saying patience is needed. Okay. A certain level of toleration. For some of you, Libra energy, this could be a divorce, a separation, justice. Okay. Also, once again, we have Libra here where the South Node is. Okay. It's about balancing your relationships. It also feels like, for some of you, that's the challenge here, okay? There could be somebody here that was not accountable for their actions that you were dealing with. Now, let's see your advice is the Four of Wands. 11-11 is here. This is definitely your advice, which is saying there's a powerful celebration. This Four of Wands is a feeling here of a home situation or a foundation. And it's going through the five of pentacles and the five of swords. There's a lot of change. So Taurus, it feels like this is a make it or break it. It feels like you're fed up. You're walking away from a situation. For some of you, this five of pentacles can be there's a financial loss. It could have to do over a home situation. It could have to do over a property, land. Um, it also feels like your advice here, okay, is definitely with the four of wands here, right? This is a double number with the 111 if you're seeing 1111 here all right this feels like whatever this is there's a lot of disharmony that's been taking place in this relationship here okay and with the king of wands is here fire sign aries leo sag okay there could be some impulsive or high expectations okay it's like somebody here could be playing the blame game okay pointing fingers at you taurus is what i feel it also feels like with this energy here of the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here, it's about choosing you, right? It's about breaking free from any illusions, breaking free from any fear or false programming here, okay? It's about gradually moving into a, moving into a higher part of yourself where you believe in yourself. The King of Wands, man or woman, is very bold, very charismatic, definitely a natural born leader here, okay? It's about breaking free from limited beliefs here. 1111, you've been called, okay? It feels like with this fire energy, it's igniting the passions within you here, okay? There could have been this power play that you had here before, but it also feels like you're breaking free from limited beliefs now, okay? So let's see what this week is. Going to be the possible outcome for Taurus. What's the possible outcome for my lovely Taurus? The strength. Yeah. Strength card, Leo energy here. Five of cups. You got three fives on the table so far and the ace of wands. There is a powerful activation that's coming in here. Something here that's going to lift your vibration to the nine of cups. There is something here like I feel with the five of cups. It feels like you are not retaliating. It feels like you're standing in your str your strength. This is self-respect. This is self-worth. The strength card comes in. Like I feel that tells me you're overcoming some difficult loss here. All right. But it feels like with the Ace of Wands, a creative spark is here. This creative spark, I feel for you, is a new idea, a new beginning. And it has a lot of potential here. Okay. Okay. This is like receiving an upgrade, receiving a download here. It feels like this is going to lead this Ace of Wands with the Strength card to a powerful wish fulfillment, okay? The Nine of Cups is a feeling of joy, happiness, okay? Something here, Taurus, that I feel is going to be a situation for some of you that are facing an emotional withdrawing energy here, okay? For some of you, you've been going through a situation where... You have a recovery that's here. I feel this is recovering on an emotional level. Eight of cups, nine of cups. It's like, and the hierophant. And definitely underneath there, knight of pentacles. 
It's like somebody here took a very long time. This is definitely Knight of Pentacles. Long, slow, steady steps forward here, okay? And the Hierophant is marriage, family. It's your voice. It's how you, your belief systems here. And the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. It feels like you definitely have someone here that you were in a commitment or a relationship with. Somebody here who's walking away with abandonment issues. Somebody here that's walking away from a situation. I feel whatever this is now with the Nine of Cups, there's something here that's activating a powerful potential, a new beginning here. A new beginning here that has a lot of quality that comes into this new beginning for you, Taurus. Let's see what this Ace of Wands is for Taurus. It's Three of Pentacles and Mars and Aries. Yep, there's definitely a feeling here of a major cleanup. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Three of Pentacles where things begin to take shape. This is the initial step forward. This is the initial uh, step with the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, which initiates collaboration, learning, Three of Pentacles, building together, a feeling here of a network. This is dream work, teamwork, Three of Pentacles. Things are coming into alignment here. When it talks to me about the public here, right? This Ace of Wands is initiating a new spark, a new creative idea when it comes to your craft, your work, the work that you do, your career. It feels like for some of you with Mars and Aries, this could be your business. This could be you are in touch with a boss, a GM, the owner of a business. This is definitely a spark that is coming in that I feel you're getting ready to experience with Mars and Aries, right? A very fiery climax is approaching here. This is about working, I feel, on a project that brings in so much happiness after. Look at all the tens that you're closing out. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, okay? So, the Emperor here is definitely initiating. We have almost 30 years of a cycle here. 10, 20, 30, okay? For some of you, you're seeing 10, 10. It's as if... There's definitely a family dynamic here for some of you. I'm looking at the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. For a lot of you, this could be a relationship that you've had. For some of you, this is a feeling of burnt out, okay? A feeling here of the worst is now behind you with the Ten of Swords. There's a feeling here of an intense transformation, okay? And I'm also feeling like a situation here where a lot of you, okay, I've been going through this sort of power struggle here, okay, with the emperor energy here is what I'm feeling. Very powerful because the emperor comes in wanting to take action, wanting to embrace the next step here, okay. It's like the emperor is supported by this dynamic here of the family support that's here. There's definitely this feeling of recovery, okay, for some of you. For some of you, I feel that you are, whether you're masculine or feminine energy, this is the masculine sparking a new opportunity of major gains, okay? So don't let this opportunity pass you by here. There's a major opportunity, like I feel here, Taurus. It's again that saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained here, okay? So I'm going to leave the reading there, Taurus. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next reading.